let's take a look at the Deshmere um, Light Boss from the Dawn Guard event that's currently running in uh, Awakened Chaos Hero. Okay, so before we go into the battle, let's have a quick look at the boss's um, capabilities, the boss's spells and uh, traits. So this first one, the Sacred Heart one, um, you can see that it's going to give the boss random stats up buffs um, more and more each round uh, as the uh, as the battle pro progresses. So you can see right at the beginning the boss is going to get uh, two and then uh, four from the third rounds and then six from the six rounds. Um, and as soon as the boss has more than four positive effects at the start of their turn, they deal true damage to all targets based on the max health while ignoring all enemy positive effects. So we basically want to avoid that situation. We want to avoid the boss getting, um, you know, four or more positive effects. Okay, the next one uh, is Elemental Power, and that gives the boss an uh, Elemental Power buff for one turn. If affected for fewer by fewer than 12 negative effects at the end of the turn. So we want to figure out some way to, to, to ensure that the boss right from the start has uh, at least 12 negative effects or 12 debuffs um, on the boss at all, at, at all times, ideally. Um, otherwise, we, we will we'll be getting that um, buff on the boss, which reduces damage taken by 50%, which is not ideal, obviously. Third is the Sacred Shield Strike, so deals damage to one enemy and applies no positive effects to them for two turns. Um, and it only does this when an enemy applies positive effects, so that means one of our heroes applies positive effects to themselves or to team members. So we want to try and avoid um, using uh, heroes that you know buff themselves or give themselves positive effects. Um, or apply positive effects to uh, to the team, unless they've got lots of health, obviously, like a healer. And then the next two, Holy Burst deals damages to all enemies and removes all their positive effects. Okay, fair enough. We know that we probably can't use um, bubble spells, for example, like the um, you know the, the 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 green bubble spell um, that you might use often to uh, to protect your heroes because it's just going to get removed. Um, and then finally, we've got the Sacred Sword Dance, deals damage toward enemies and scales with a number of positive effects affecting this character. So that last one there, Sacred Sword Dance, goes hand in hand with that first one, Sacred Heart, where the boss is giving themselves uh, buffs um, every, uh, every turn, every round. So we want to avoid the boss getting buffs. And um, to do that... Uh, so we want to avoid the boss getting buffs and we want to put as many debuffs as possible on the boss and keep those debuffs up. Hence, I uh, have gone for this first team. I'm going to focus on the first team just uh, for this video. Um, so I'm using um, Bachelard and Abaddon um, and Florence to give additional um, uh, turns, you know, bon bonus attacks to all the heroes with her ultimate, um, and Eren as well, who uh, through his uh, trait um, gives uh, reduces the cooldown um, of the ultimate of everybody um, and also um, gives them a, a, an extra basic attack, so additional you know debuffs from the likes of Bachelard um, and Abaddon potentially right from the start. And you'll notice Gaewinol there in the middle um, the reason I've put her in there is because her basic applies no positive effects to enemies for two turns, um, which is which is ideal. It actually works better than um, other heroes, you know, like um, uh, Hulans, for example, who might um, who you might have, have been using or trying to use. Um, Hulans, unfortunately, only. Um, applies that no positive effects for one turn. Let's have a look. Yeah, you see, no positive effects for one turn. Um, and the boss is able to get an extra turn uh, um, occasionally. It, 
um, which means that we could, uh, you know, you could miss um, that debuff being up on the boss, the no positive effects, and the boss will give themselves um, buffs. So we want to avoid that, and I think Goenil works uh, pretty well in this situation. Plus, um, her uh, ultimate deals um, damage based on the difference between this hero's, so her hero, her, her initial attack and the boss's initial attack. And the boss's initial attack is fairly low. So if you can give her a lot of um, uh, attack uh, on her hero, on, on you know, using her gear, um, then uh, she should be able to deal a, a decent amount of damage, as well as adding that no positive effects um, every round. And um, yeah, there we have it. So let's let's go through. By the way, um, you need lots of focus on this uh, fight. So um, I've put Bachelor uh, in the leader position to get that extra twenty percent focus on the um, uh, on the team at all times. First thing to look at before we go into the battle is let's have a look at what buffs the boss has given themselves. So we've got speed up and crit resistance up. Now that is not ideal. You can see the boss is already faster than my Abaddon and my Gavinol. So what happens in this situation? Uh, we retreat. <laughs> and we'll try again. Until we get a good situation. Okay, what's the boss got now? Precision and crit damage up. That's fine. Um, it could potentially do us some more damage, but it's not affecting its initial attack, uh, which means uh, you know no impact on Garinol's, um, uh ultimate, and um, there's no you know agility or speed up or. Um, increased resistance or anything like that which is going to uh, make it harder for us so this is a good situation speed looks good my all my heroes go first so let's, let's begin so remember we want to try and get 12 or more uh, debuffs on the bus before it's um, it's their turn and thanks to Ellen the ultimate and then uh, the trait which triggered almost immediately um, you know we've already got loads of debuffs up there we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so perfect we've already got twelve and that's before any of the other heroes like Bachelard have their turn so Bachelard I'm going to use um, the defense down and defense down two um, ones first And then it's Abaddon's turn. I'm going to save the Rage spell uh, for for the next rounds when we'll have even more debuffs up. Now, uh, Gaynor, she should have already put her um, no positive effects up on the boss through Erin's um, bonus attacks. Yep, you can see it's already there on there. And it's already there for two turns, so she can use her ultimate. Meditate on your sins, fiend. Oh, not too good. You see, we didn't get the um, the boss didn't give themselves the buff um, at the end of the turn. The one from um, you know the elemental power one because um, they had more than twelve uh, debuffs on it. Important point. And we succeeded. Okay, let's continue. Um, don't need to use the basic because there's no positive effects up on the boss. So the boss has got no buffs to remove. Perfect. So we might as well heal up. Never underestimate a lady. Huh. And uh, if you're using Aaron, you want to avoid using his special because it gives him um, buffs. You see, like attack up or crit rate up or whatever. And if you recall from the boss, if um, the boss gets an extra attack and applies no positive effects to um, one of our heroes, if uh, that hero applies positive effects to themselves or to others. So always either use the ultimate uh, or the um, basic. 
And actually, uh, yeah, we're going to use the basic. Um, let's have a look. Florence's ultimate is almost up. Yeah, let's use the basic. Um, she didn't proc his trait, but. Um, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to use the rage spell. I've got loads of debuffs up. I would have liked to have used Philido in this battle if possible, but um, unfortunately, I think that the no positive effects from Garenol will make the battle last a little bit longer. Um, so we're not, you know, we might not be getting as many debuffs as we'd like, thanks to, um, you know, by not having further in the battle. But we might survive longer, so hopefully it, it evens out in the end. Um, okay, always first thing to look at is if we've got no positive effects up on the boss for two turns, it's the case. So we can oh, use a special or the ultimate if it's up, and otherwise use the basic. Uh, or even, can we give the gut turn to somebody else? Yeah, let's give the turn to Florence. Huh. Let's get this party started. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can use a special because no positive effect is already up. Away with you, shadow. Huh. Okay, you see it's working well, there's no positive effects, which is great. Uh, we can just heal up here. Never underestimate a lady. Notice that I'm not using um, faith gear for flowers because faith gear uh, adds a shield and the boss would attack flowers. Um, because it's considered as a um, oops, it's considered as a, um, a positive effect. Heaven's trait is super powerful. Use everybody's ultimate by one turn. So good. No positive effects up, two turns. Okay, the boss is starting to do more and more damage now. I don't know how many more turns we'll survive, but let's see how it goes. My next performance, the Blade Tango. We're already at S tier, which is not bad. If I had Abaddon A2, it would be doing even more damage. Okay, we've got an extra attack for Gay Renault. Meditate on your sin, and no positive effect is already up for two turns, so we can use this special. I am going to use Agile Leap on herself so that we can heal up. Never underestimate a lady. Okay, okay. Rage Spell. Looking good, we're on round seven. The blade tangle. Oh, 
that is lucky. Extra uh, attack from the curse set. Triggered Erin's trait. Perfect. Um, that pulls effects up. See how much damage this does. Oof. Okay, that really hurts. Um, we've lost Gaonol, and that means that we've we've still got one one turn of no positive effect. So let's see if we can get into SS territory. Nope, unfortunately not. Okay, that's it. That's um, a guide for Deshmir. Um, I hope you found it useful, and I hope it helps you, um, you know, achieve an even even higher score than I got um, in this event, and that you can unlock all of those great rewards. Best of luck, and see you in the next one.